You know that feeling of dread when one is coming on. The scratchy throat, the runny nose, the congestion. But what if I told you there was a way to reduce your risk of coming down with a cold? And what if I told you it was to eat bacteria? Recent evidence is suggesting that probiotics can be effective to reduce and shorten upper respiratory tract infections. Let's science it. Hey, welcome to Nourishable, I'm Dr. Lara. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that we eat to manipulate the microbiome. The microbiome is comprised of the 100 trillion microbes that synergistically live with us, with communities in the mouth, on the skin, in the vagina if you have one, and throughout the gut. These microbes play critical roles in keeping us healthy, including regulating the immune system. But probiotics aren't just any random bacteria. The World Health Organization defines probiotics as live microorganisms which, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit on the host. When considering probiotics for colds, we're interested in what strains and dosages are effective for reducing the risk of getting a cold or for shortening the cold's duration. By compiling many studies together, the scientific consensus is that probiotic supplementation can reduce how many people are getting colds by around 47% and can shorten their duration by about two days. So let's take a closer look at some of these studies to see how they apply to us. Many of the investigations were looking at probiotics for children in daycare centers, where kiddos apply their lessons in sharing to the cold virus. One study in a Croatian daycare center randomized 280 kids to either a fermented milk drink with the bacteria Lactobacillus rhamnosus strain GG or a pasteurized version as a placebo. Kids drank their fermented milk every day for three months during the winter cold season. Those who drank the probiotic had fewer upper respiratory tract infections. Placebo kids had nearly a three times greater chance of coming down with a cold. And this is relevant not only for the kids who spent less time being sick and miserable, but it also reduced their absence from daycare, so parents didn't need to take off as many days from work. These findings of probiotic supplemented kids getting fewer colds was consistent across many studies. What about adults? Probiotics also seem to have an impact on colds in adults, but in a different way. Two studies were looking at adults living in their own versions of infection cesspools, with college-age adults living in dorms and elderly adults attending daycare centers. These studies showed that there was no difference in the number of people who came down with a cold, but those consuming probiotics had colds that lasted around two days shorter than placebo. Another study in free-living German adults who were supplemented with probiotics for around three to five months showed that they also had shorter cold durations. Those taking probiotics had a higher level of a type of immune cell in their blood, suggesting that probiotic supplementation may help prep the immune system to deal with viral infections faster. Putting all of this data together, probiotic supplementation reduces the number of upper respiratory tract infections in kids and shortens their duration in adults. And this is important for more than just the reason that it's miserable to get a cold. These studies were performed in generally healthy people who were starting at a healthy baseline. Most previous applications of probiotics were for a specific population in a specific disease context, like antibiotic-associated diarrhea. This research indicates that there could be value in healthy people regularly taking probiotics to optimize health. Most importantly, this could reduce the usage of antibiotics. Frequently, antibiotics are inappropriately used for colds, which are viral and therefore don't respond to these drugs. Overuse of antibiotics is driving the evolution of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which is a major global health threat. So you're feeling pretty compelled by this data and you want to go buy some probiotics. What kind should you buy? This is where the research is still really inconclusive. All of these studies have been looking at different strains or combos of strains and varying doses. Some were in fermented milk, some were in powders, and others in pills. There haven't been enough studies yet done with consistent protocols to know which is optimal for you. The best data that we have available right now suggests that consuming bacteria that produce lactic acid, like the Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium families, are beneficial at doses of 10 billion or more bugs. This will be listed on probiotic labels as CFUs, or colony-forming units. My nourishable conclusions are that regular probiotic consumption in healthy people seems to be beneficial for colds. Given that there are very few minor side effects, probiotics seem to be very safe, 
though caution is recommended if you are immunocompromised or critically ill. If you tend to fall victim to frequent upper respiratory tract infections or regularly hang out in infection cesspools like daycares and schools, talk to your personal physician about probiotics to get individualized advice. Personally, I tend to incorporate unflavored kefir into my regular routine as a nutrient-dense source of probiotics that skips the added sugar. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. Subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition.